Hi, Tony Sweet here. Let's you have a look at um, at Uwe Steinmuller's uh, script on uh, what's called um, texture blending. Uh, there's a way that I do that, and most people just pretty much just overlay two images and and go to the overlay drop down option and then adjust the opacity. That's that's okay, but it's 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 very limited. And, and uh, Uva's script uh, really opens it up. You can do a lot more to it. So let's start with a couple of shots. Normally a uh, <clears throat> a, a straight shot with some some graphic interest going on and a textured shot it could be a different subject a different texture and you'll find as I'm finding that some of these things work better than others but after getting a sense of what does work it kind of narrows down uh, what you look for each time so this is a bit more subtle approach but let's uh, let's have a look at it it's very simple these two images are open and I will highlight the one that I want to be active. And it's important to have only two images open so it doesn't confuse the software, it doesn't know what to look for. If there's two open, it'll know how to operate much easier. So we'll have the, um, the color main subject, main uh, image um, um, op um, um, selected, sorry. And then we go up to, um, back to file, and then scripts, and then DOP, which again is digital outback photo underscore texture blending. And we just select it and then sit back and watch what happens. Uh, you will see that, as you can see here, it comes out a little bit on the dark side, but there's a lot of ways uh, to fix that and get that going. So we're going to make that a bit larger now. Uh, we're going to look at what's great about this. You know, you many scripts, you know, like want to hide what they do in the uh, layers of, of, of menu, but uh, but Uva does not. He shows you all these layers, so you can go in to fine tune these these images right right here. So if I pick the uh, Levels Master one and click on that, here's our here's our adjustment, and we'll just move the um, the levels up a little bit see what we get down a little bit there we go opening it up just a, a small bit and then pulling it back a little more and let's go to the um the other um uh, palette which is here and now we'll say the other levels master number two which affects the image more or the uh, the prime image you see now we're going to brighten up the uh the flower I still like that texture, so we're going to keep it a little bit dark, but now I'm going to go up to um, DOP underscore texture blending, the very top, the very top uh, layer here. And then we will, let me put that over here, there we go. <clears throat> and we'll just pull that opacity back. Okay, now I like the, uh, the pretty heavy texture. Let me go back a little bit more, there we go. And a little bit smaller so you can see it. There we go. Now, this is what I like on the um, the petal, the outside area of it, you know. Maybe it's a little bit more or a little less opacity, I mean. Okay, now, I've got the texture in the petals. And if we go back and hold down Option and click on the very first uh, uh, layer, that's the original. And this is all the steps. Now, I like what's going on on the outside, but not on the inside. So what I'll do... It's basically drop in a, um, a, 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 a quick mask, I'm sorry, right here. And then we will select brush, which is the letter B, by the way, or find it over here. And then we'll paint back in. Now that says, let me undo this. That says 100% opacity. I want, I want it down to about 50%. Let me start to paint just half the effect there, you see? So so you can maintain a little bit of what's going on without making it too um, um, abrupt. Make the change so abrupt. That still does work. There you go. Now I'm kind of liking this. And I'll paint that out a little bit and paint this out. Now we're at 50%, so the more we paint over it, the more pronounced it gets. Hitting the backslash key to make a little smaller brush, see it? 
and we'll paint this again. Just paint over and over it. I'm not going to spend all day on this, but just until it gets to where um, it's obvious that there's a difference between the center of the flower and everywhere else. There we go. That's fine. So now, if we go back uh, and, and, and uh, 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 just hold down Option and click on the background layer, you have Before and you have After. So you have this texture, which is kind of cool, and, and you have the, um, the uh, stamen part of the subject. Just a little bit of the overlay effect, but not a lot. Or the blended effect, but, but not a lot. So you know, why don't we uh, just have a look at this. Well, that's not too shabby, you know. I think I um, I kind of like that. But I'm going to do one more quick thing. I'm going to pick, um, select Viveza 2. And I just want to beef up the middle, add some contrast to it. So it, it jumps out even more against the background. I mean, not, not crazy more, just a little bit more. So let's select a control point. Put it right in the middle here, and then that should affect the yellow. And we'll just uh, increase saturation slightly. There we go. And a little more contrast. That's what does it. And then make it just a hair darker up top here. All right, now, holding down spacebar, before, look at that and after. Well, that gives it that little extra bit of depth. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot to make a difference. So we're going to okay this out. No need to brush. It's, we just, just applied it to the center area globally in the middle. And this is a TIFF file. It's a bit longer to write. There we go. Now, if we hold down the option key and press background, there's before and there's with the texture added, blended, and then kind of taking it out of the middle a little bit. So let's let's have a look at that. Isn't that nice? There'll be a gallery up on my blog also of um, of a few of these that I did in the last last night actually, and um, you see what's up. But where is this script? Is is what we're talking about now? And if you downloaded the uh, the previous day's blog script from Uva's site, uh, it's the same page. It's just down in the artistic tools area and there's texture blending an article tells you how to do it basically and then you get a demo or you want to buy it. Uh, this, this is a for sale item. Um, I'm using it a lot. I think it's worth it but it depends on how you like to work etc. So that's, um, that's pretty much it and we will see you online.